there's a Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer that came out today. And you should watch it. Because I want I want to know your opinions on it. Because I have some opinions on it. Alright, maybe we can just watch it together. Thoughts? Thoughts, anybody? <laughs> so I'm about to go on a rant. But I would like to know your I would like to know some of your opinions first. I am not. I I but honestly after the last one, I was I was done. I, I I like I have no interest in this series anymore. I will definitely not be playing it. And the first okay, so Kingdom Hearts started as Disney meets Final Fantasy, right? Like that that was it. That was the draw. That was and that was so exciting at the, sorry, sorry. That was so exciting as a kid. Like that was amazing. It was like my two favorite things growing up mashed into like that was that was mind blowing. Like that stuff never happens. But it did. Out of that three and a half minute trailer, for the first three minutes, there is zero, zero Disney or Final Fantasy. And I mean, as we all know, in, in the last, in Kingdom Hearts 3, there's zero Final Fantasy at all. So it's like, the, it, they have already lost their way so much. If, if they bring Kingdom Hearts into the real world, it's just like, it's so, it's so weird. Because these are cartoon characters. And it's, it, this is a children's game that is, I... I don't know how to explain this. I'm, it is it is just it is turned so far from what it what it originally was. And it's just it has zero meaning. Okay, okay. We're I'm going to I'm going to open this back up. We're going to we're going to break it down a little bit. I'm not going to I'm not going to watch the whole thing again, but there's a couple of points I want to I want to point out. All right. So is this Kyrie? I don't know. You can see you can't even tell because like she's a freaking cartoon character that they made real. And like Donald and Goofy are pardon the pun, but they're gonna look goofy in the real world. Like they they, they just straight up do not fit on planet Earth. And then Sora, like, like, what, why, I mean, look, okay, look at this, when he's, like, running through, where is it, when he's running through, I think it's coming up, like, look how weird he is, like, if these are normal people, he looks so strange in, in the real world, it's so, like, uncanny valley. He just looks weird, IRL, because he's a cartoon character. And then, maybe they'll play up the absurdity of the cartoon characters in a real world. Maybe, like, make it very meta and make fun of themselves. I don't know, man, because this trailer looks really serious up until they, they get to the part with Donald and Goofy. It seems like it's taken itself real serious. And then... Where is it? Or are the, are the closed captions not actually embedded in the video? Okay, it's a world full of life, but for you and I, it's similar to an afterworld, I suppose. So, just in case, if Kingdom Hearts wasn't already convoluted enough, apparently real life is an afterworld for the Kingdom Hearts universe, just just to add another layer of fuckery to this entire Kingdom Hearts. I don't even call it a universe anymore. It's a multiverse. Like, it's just... And I hate that this video, I hate that this trailer upsets me so much because, like I said, I'm done with Kingdom Hearts. But when I heard that this was released, I was like, well, I, I mean, I have to watch it. But... 
There is zero chance you can get me to play this game. Zero chance. I don't know, you can play it with commentary on. On why it's terrible the whole time. That could be fun. The thing is, I do not want to. I do not want to monetarily support this game because that's the only way they're they're ever gonna they're ever gonna learn that like money talks right and the problem is i know people are gonna buy this game at 70 dollars and they're gonna play it yeah i i just i cannot monetarily support this game because that's that's the only way if i really hope nobody buys it but i, I know that's not gonna happen